Wondering how to get your company logo on your LinkedIn profile? Hey, this is Brenda Meller, and today I want to answer a question I got from someone in my community. She is starting her consulting business, and she just figured out how to create the logo, and now she wants to get it uploaded onto her profile. So I'm actually going to do this in a LinkedIn post on my company page, but I figured I would demonstrate how to do so to help all of you. So we actually need to start the process by creating a company page on LinkedIn. Now, anywhere from your LinkedIn homepage in the desktop version, I want you to go under the for business icon, which is in the upper right-hand corner of your menu bar. It looks like a little waffle icon. When you click on that, scroll down to the bottom and you will see a link that says create a company page. Click on that and it will take you to this menu where you are given instructions on creating a page and you either choose company, showcase page, or educational institution. Probably 99% of you will be choosing company page. So let's click on that now. Now at this point, you need to go through and fill in all of the required fields keeping in mind that you can come back later and change any of this information. So just take a moment, fill in your company name and LinkedIn will populate the URL. If you have a website, put that in, choose an industry organization size and organization type. And this is the field that we're looking at, which is choose file. Now, first I wanna show you what your page looks like if you do not upload a logo at the time that you create the page, it is possible to do so. So let me show you that now. Now in this example, I'm just creating a placeholder page. I'm gonna delete this out after the video's done, but I've called it sample MM page. And you can see here, it does not yet have a logo on it. So we see this gray avatar. Now, if someone were to view this page on LinkedIn, they're gonna see where the logo should be. It's this gray avatar, which looks like this bluish building on a gray background, kind of boring and very nondescript, right? Now, what if you had this page linked on your profile, what it would look like? Let me show you that now. All right, so I'm on my profile right now. So if I had an employer listed in this example, the employer, the fake name is called Sample MM Page. But if it didn't have it linked to my company page, I'm going to see this gray avatar logo next to it. Now, there's not a way that you can go inside this section and simply upload your logo. Let me show you this. So if I click on the pencil icon, there's no place in here that I can add the logo. Because what you actually need to do is you need to go to the company page and that's where you upload the logo to get it reflected on your profile. So let me go back to the company page now and show you the steps on how to do so. Now you will need to be in the admin view in order to do so, and you also need to be an admin on the page, okay? So it's really important if you are in admin view on the left navigation, you will see this menu that says create, view as member, etc. And you can also see some pencil icons for editing things. Now, if you happen to land on the page and you're seeing you are viewing this page as member and it says view as admin at the top, you need to toggle back to admin view to get to the place where you upload the logo. Now, what you'll need to do is scroll down to the bottom. There's not actually a, lo a, a, a field on the logo field itself. You need to go into edit page. And then at the top, you will see a side menu on your left-hand side under where it says header and page info. This is the field where you can upload your logo. Now, it's important to keep in mind here that LinkedIn recommends that your logo avatar field be 300 by 300 square. And I typically recommend that your logo is in a square format. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second here. And I've just created a fake logo just to upload into my profile as an example here with social media pie uh, on a reverse pink background. Once I click and click on open and then click on save, it will add it to my page. And then there's no save button here. So just close out of this pop-up menu. I'm gonna click on no thanks when it says start a post. And now if I click on view as member, I can see that that logo is filling in the square field, okay? Now the next step I'm gonna do is go back to my profile and properly make sure that the, the page is linked into here. Okay, now I'm back on my profile and I'm in my experience section. I'm gonna click on the gray pencil icon next to that role and I'm gonna scroll down to the company name field and what you need to do is just put your mouse after the last character in the page name and just backspace. And then you should see a drop down appear next to the company name and then your logo will appear. Then you'll need to click on save and Voila, we now have our logo next to our company name on our profile. So again, I hope this was helpful for you. I was demonstrating the steps on how to get a logo in your experience section if you are a consultant and you don't have it 
linked yet on your personal page, keeping in mind that you do need to create the company page first, the company page needs to have a logo on it, and then it needs to be linked into your experience section. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love it if you could drop a comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates like these. Have a great day.